Today, I'll be going over how to utilize the Catalyst 9136 and 9166 built-in environmental sensors without DNA spaces. The Catalyst 9136 and 9166 have three built-in environmental sensors that measure for air quality, humidity, and temperature. These are supported in 1781 and 1791 respectively. Here is the general topology of the Catalyst 9136 and 9166 for the environmental sensors and using model-driven telemetry to subscribe to the sensor data. Here we have our 9136 or 9166 on the left with their built-in environmental sensors gathering environmental air quality data. And now we have our controller, which is configuring the access point and also getting that information through CapWAP and then sending that via Yang with NetConf, GNMI, or gRPC to a receiver, and that can be sent through a database and sent to a dashboard portal such as Grafana where an admin can access that via web browser. Now we have to enable the air quality and temperature sensors on the access points. So we here we can just configure a default AP profile with the sensor environmental air quality and temperature settings. I'll now do that on the controller, and here I've enabled the environmental and air quality. Next, we want to create IETF telemetry subscriptions in the wireless controller to send telemetry data to Telegraph, which is gonna be our receiver. So a quick little recap of what this is. The first is a subscription number, which groups all the configurations in one set of data. The second is the encoding, specified inside that, that which is used by telegraph and this is the next one is the file path which is the data we want to send and then the next part is the source address so this is where we want to send the data from so this for example this is the wireless controllers management interface next is the way we stream the data so we're using yang and then our update policy so it'll send data every five seconds lastly we want to go enter the IP address of where the receiver is. So that's where Telegraph is located. And then what port Telegraph is listening to. So for example, this one is 57,500 and which protocol um, it's using. So gRPC TCP. Now we can head off into the controller and then paste the configuration. And now it should be sending that data towards Telegraph. Here, I just wanted to show you the example sensor telemetry output for the temperature data. Um, here we could see the humidity and the temperature. And then up for the air quality telemetry, here we can see that we have our calculated air quality, the TVOC, um, estimated ethanol value, and then we have 13 different RMOX values. Now I'm going to go over to my Ubuntu instance. This is where I hosted Telegraph, InfluxDB, and Grafana all on one single Docker container. And here I can see the Telegraph logs and that I'm getting that air quality and temperature information from the wireless controller. Now I'll go over to my locally hosted Grafana instance. So here I can create a new dashboard and I'll add a query. This is where I can query the data and create my own visualizations. Now here I can specify the specific sensor data that I want. So if I want the air quality or temperature data, and then I could even filter for the AP MAC addresses that I want. So here I just want this specific access point and then I'll get the value of the temperature or humidity. So for example, if I want to get the value of the humidity and see, we can now see the um, historical data for the humidity and that's the mean. So maybe if I wanted to change that, I can change that to the most last updated. And you can really customize these visualizations to whatever your use case is. You can see things in real time and you can see things over time and that way you can analyze the data as you see fit.